there is a bunch of really interesting news about GTA 6 and its upcoming trailer. So Damn. without further ado... Ladies and gentlemen and my toxic gamers, how are y'all doing, my brothers? We are literally a week or maybe even two weeks away from GTA 6 trailer. It is happening, my brothers. It is happening, okay? Let's hope that in a week's time, in two weeks' time, we're not gonna be like, next week, next week, next week, right? Because, you know, we have said this year after year that it's gonna be happening next year, next year, next year. Hopefully, we're not gonna be seeing <laughs> But it is happening, my brothers. It is surely happening. Like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's go for five likes on the video. Let's get into this video. I'm gonna be streaming dead ass though. Do let's get straight into it. According to a report from PC Games N, Rockstar is overhauling its official site while finishing the game's trailer. As of November 21st, significant changes have been made to Rockstar's official website, integrating uh -huh. many of the social club functionalities directly into. Hopefully, it's not about like the shark cards and how much uh, you know they are looking to sell shark cards. And let's be real, man. What's the biggest? I believe the biggest is the Megalodon, right? It's like you spend a hundred bucks and you get like 8 million if I'm not wrong I haven't I haven't looked at the store in years okay pretty sure with GTA 6 it's gonna be like double Megalodon for 200 bucks and you get 16 million bruh like if they do that I mean bruh 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 I mean bruh to the Rockstar site itself. So now, if you log into your account and select games from the menu bar at the top, you can now check your progress, stats, character details, oh, wow. and more without needing to visit a separate site or page for the social club. It's like social club never existed. Any mentions of that service are gone. Previously, if you access the social club website, it would display the proper branding. Its logo would appear at the top, and at the bottom, there would be a list of games connected and ready for social club. Now, that logo has vanished and the verbiage has been changed. Instead of inviting you to join social club members, the site now simply says members. The message at the bottom of the page now lists games connected and ready with your Rockstar Games account. Looks like Rockstar is folding most of the social club stuff. Yo, well, I, I remember the time when, you know, GTA 4 first came out. I remember getting the, the, the actual physical edition for the PC, for the PC, and uh, man, that game looked like real life to my console peasant eyes, bruh. You know, the day, I miss the days when San Andreas first came out and I, I played on PlayStation 2, man, to my console peasant's eye, bro. It looked like real life, bro. Like the video if, whenever you played GTA, right? Like the video if it ever looked like real life when you first started playing, but I, I do remember GTA 4, I bought the physical edition, and it also came with like the social club thingy, right? That was my first time knowing and hearing about the social club. It felt like unique. It felt different from all the other publishers though. So I'm not sure why they're removing it. Like uh, keep it like how it is. We had that in GTA 5 as well. Like why remove it? right into their main site and mentions of the former online hub have been removed and replaced. It seems that ahead of GTA 6, Rockstar is preparing to overhaul how you track and interact with the game via the official site. As uh, maybe I would like to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's gonna be better uh, tracking this way. Uh, maybe it's gonna be better. You never know, but... If confirmation of the trailer wasn't enough, it appears something big is certainly on the way. Launched back in Lucia Burna, Lucia Burna. April 2008, the Rockstar Social Club was designed uh, as an online hub for all Rockstar... Here I was thinking he was gonna talk about something big, man. This ain't no... This is nothing big, bruh. bruh. Star Games. The idea was pretty innovative for its time. A dedicated space where players could track their in-game achievements, participate in community events, and compare stats with friends. However, the launch of the Social Club wasn't without its setbacks, especially when it came to GTA 4, which was released around the same time. The game's release was highly anticipated. See but what I was saying? See what I was saying? That's exactly what I was saying, bro. GTA 4, and bro, I have not watched this video. There are some videos that I like skimmed through. I haven't even skimmed through this video, bro. I, I did not, bro. Where is that? Stop the cap. Nah, bro. Nah, 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 nah. No cap, bro. Like, this is exactly what I was talking about. GTA 4, I think it was the first game to introduce that. Man, like, why y'all suck is removing that? There's no, no need for that. But the social club faced some significant issues that dampened the excitement for many players. The service Wait, struggled to handle the high traffic from players, leading to server <laughs> issues. <laughs> yo, Bumbaka. yeah, this was yo, bro. Like, where are you? You tap like you, you, you're going like that, bro. Don't be pressing R two L two that that fast, bro. Don't pump the brakes like. Don't press L two that fast, bro. All gas, no brakes, guys. All gas, no brakes. 
Are we from now, boys? Are we from now, man? Jews in a less than smooth experience. It was a bit of a rocky start for what was supposed to be a major step forward in online gaming communities. So the social club has had quite the journey, from a shaky uh -huh. start with GTA 4 to becoming a key part of the Rockstar right, game. Next. Also, next. down below what you think about this that's worth talking about. According to a new rumor, Rockstar Games has had to make a tough call and cut a major new feature from the game's development. For oh, a dang. while now, there's- What? Hey, yo, no way, bruh. Like, man, they're gonna be nerfing that Lucia Bunda, bro. Like, I'm sure. I'm bruh. Yeah, that's probably the feature they're gonna talk. They're talking about. But nah, he's talking about like feature that's completely removed. So Lucia getting removed? What? You think it's crazy? There's been chatter that Rockstar was working on an advanced weather system for GTA 6. Oh, okay, advanced. Oh, my bad, yes. So, okay, I, I feel like uh, so so far Lucia Bunda is good. I, I think it's uh, intact. Uh, okay, they're not talking about that. Okay, thank God, bro. Thank Something God. groundbreaking that we haven't seen before. This system was rumored to include extreme weather events like hurricanes and tornadoes. However, it seems these plans were too ambitious. Rockstar bro. Universe, a well-known source for Rockstar Games info. Y'all like it took 10 plus years. What the actual act? <laughs> Why? How is that ambitious? Even Battlefield, even DICE. Like the video, cause yup, uh, even DICE made that happen, bro. Y'all suckers need your, need that good old ass beat up right now, bro. Literally, you just need the wind, right? And just circle it around. Boom, that's your tornado right there. Simple as that, bro. Simple. <laughs> bro, how is that ambitious, man? Come on, bro. You just need like tornado Miami and no tornadoes, bruh. GTA 6, no tornadoes, bruh. Come on, man. Oh, here, mentioned bro. that this extreme weather feature was scrapped during development, though the exact timing of this decision wasn't specified. They hinted the reason, saying, I've heard they wanted hurricanes and tornadoes. As to why they were cut, I don't know. It could be tech limitations. It could be something else. This we are hearing this game is going to be on PS5 and Xbox Series X, and even a year later on PC. How is the tech limitations, bro? PS5 we're talking about, man. We're talking about the Series X, bro. How? Man, like, don't give me that bullshit that you would need, like, PlayStation 20. We're not getting PlayStation 20, son. We're not gonna get that anytime soon, son. Makes sense if you think about it. Implementing dynamic weather in games, especially something as complex as hurricanes and tornadoes, is a massive technical challenge. Even basic weather systems in games can be demanding on resources, and they often offer more of a novelty rather than substantial gameplay impact. Just imagine. In then don't make it dynamic. Just put a PNG of hurricane and tornado, bro. It's a game. Everything from <laughs> pedestrian behavior to traffic patterns, from environmental interactions to mission dynamics, is affected by and reacts to changes in the game world. For example, a simple rain shower in GTA affects road conditions, impacting vehicle handling. I refuse to believe tech limitations, bro. Just look at the streets, okay? Modders have brought the entire Pacific Ocean on them streets. Look at this water, brother, brother, brother. Look at that water, bruh. Nah, man, you're 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 capping, bro. Like, come on, man. We need the we need the tornadoes, bro. Now imagine scaling this up to a full-blown hurricane. This would require not just altering driving conditions, but also changing NPC behaviors, possibly triggering new types of missions or interactions, and even affecting the physical environment, like causing floods or destruction. The game would need yeah, to dynamically yeah. adjust to these changes in real time. Such weather systems could impact the game's narrative and pacing. A tornado yeah, randomly true, appearing true. could disrupt a mission in progress, requiring the game to adapt both in terms of okay. gameplay mechanics and story progression. So if GTA 6 will actually have tornadoes, they'll definitely be... Nah, dog, like, come on, man. Don't give me that bullshit, bro. Like, Lucia Bruna is gonna be, like, 500 pounders, bro. Like, she's gonna be able to stay on the ground feet down. <laughs> She's, she's, nah, bro, no, no hurricane, no tornado can lift that Bruna up, bro, like, there is no goddamn way, it ain't happening, bro, I'm, I, she ain't even gonna let, let the tornado have a chance to lift that, lift her up, bro, nah, bro, but I get it, okay, <laughs> on a real though, I, I get it, but, like, damn, bro, like, it's just, just have, like, a PNG then, bro, like, scripted. PNG. Going further, one of the GTA 6 fans has predicted the entirety of the upcoming trailer. There's a fan like post on Reddit that really caught my attention. Titled, Before GTA 6, Analyzing Rockstar's Previous First Trailers, this post features a GIF that cleverly compares screenshots from the first trailers of Rockstar- Do you call it GIF or GIF, though? I always called it GIF, though. Is it GIF, though? You, do you really call it GIF, though? Like, what? Like, what? Uh. 
Star's last three major productions, GTA 4, RDR 2, and GTA 5. What's fascinating is the apparent pattern in these trailers. Starting with early morning opening, then bluish daytime scene, even- Are you really gonna be skipping on the- Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Are you- are you really gonna skip on that, bruh? You imagine, like, you actually, uh, see the trailer, we're all ready for the trailer, the day arrives, the hour, the hour is not, I know the hour is not, my brothers, but the hour arrives, and then we have that rockstar uploaded, right? You click on it, and it's like, why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. What are you gonna do, though? If you hear that, if I hear that one more time, I'm gonna find y'all suckers in GTA, of course, but... Evening setting sun, bluish ambient scene, yellowish ambient scene, lead introduced, evening outro, sunset outro and logo, fade to logo, and ESRB rating. So this user suggests that the GTA 6 trailer may look very similar and contain identical sequences to the first trailers of previous Rockstar productions. If, as shown in this post, so much connected the trailers in the case of these three games, it would be hard for me to believe that the GTA 6 trailer will look different. On the other hand, yeah, that yeah, game is already yeah. being called a revolution even yeah. before the game is released and before the trailer is revealed. <laughs> Listen, man, you suck as removing the dynamic weather. If true, if that's true, we're not sure if that's true or not, right? But if y'all suck as really gonna deadass remove the dynamic weather, it's not the revolution. Come on, bro. It's not the revolution. But, bro, this game, I feel like, I honestly feel, right, uh, on a real, though, I honestly feel that this game needs to be a banger. With GTA 6, there's gonna be no in-between. Either it's a banger or it's a snoozer. There's gonna be no in-between with this game. And that, honestly, uh, excites me and also terrifies me because if this game is bad, then shit, man, like... You feel what I'm saying, right? Because Call of Duty's sucking ass right now. We're hearing the next Call of Duty is already leaked, you know what I'm saying? The next uh, Call of Duty game is going to be Black Ops, Black Ops 6. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, Black Ops 6, guys. We were hearing about it. And yep, a new Call of Duty game is promised every year. So yeah, we're going to get the next Call of Duty game next year, right? In 2024. We're just a couple of months away. The next Battlefield game is already in development. I'm big on Battlefield, Call of Duty, and GTA, and single-player games. Yeah, like, if GTA 6 is bad, then rip, bro. Like, we're gonna be left with Call of Duty Battlefield and games here and there, and most of the games are, aren't even that good nowadays, though. Perhaps the trailer will reflect this and will not continue the practices used in previous announcements. One of the Redditors added, To get more into the Rockstar feel, GTA 5's and RDR 2's first trailer started slow showing the beautiful parts of the map and then yep, showed true. the poor neighborhoods, while the protagonist, that you can only see them with a shot from behind at a specific angle, gives a monologue or says a line from the game while also showing them in one of the shots. And then the action and intense parts, cops chasing criminals, the gang riding their horses, etc. And the soundtrack track used goes well now listen i don't want to drop a stun grenade on your guys hype because like listen even i'm excited hand on top of this bottle of water guys i did as i'm excited i'm looking forward to it but here's the thing man we are talking about rockstar games okay these sons of female dogs these sons of be cheese you you know what i'm saying like they might just drop a logo reveal though you know we might just get a logo reveal though I, I know Sigas are expecting like like a cinematic trailer, five minutes long, ten minutes long. Guys, we're gonna be lucky if we get one minute trailer, 30 seconds even. We're gonna be lucky if we get a 30 second trailer where we actually see some like footage. And on top, it's not gonna be gameplay gameplay. If we're lucky, in-game engine footage though. But most realistically, most probably we're gonna get cinematic shot like 30 seconds to a minute long. Maybe a minute long. I like to believe minute long, right? Realistically, a minute long. And we're getting a cinematic shot. And that would be plenty, though. That well, For me, that would be plenty. I'm expecting that because usually they do always do that. Then, you know, we're going to get screenshots, images, more leaks, more rumors. Some are going to be real. Some are going to be fake. We're going to talk about everything. Uh, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to officially create the hype season. Then comes that gameplay trailer. The gameplay trailer is going to drop out of nowhere. Then we're probably going to get the online trailer, another story trailer. Uh, and finally, if the game is really coming out in, uh, 2024, we're gonna be getting the launch trailer, my brothers. We are gonna be getting the launch trailer. But if the game gets delayed, then yeah, man, like, the trailer is gonna get, get your way out of here, you know what I'm saying? The trailer is gonna get delayed too, then.
well with this direction, gradually building in intensity. Like it has been mentioned here already, their GTA trailers show things we never seen in the past installment, like GTA 5, jet skis, activities like yoga and golf, the return of the planes, like Hydra, etc. And then, I from their that, second trailers, they start to present the story and the characters where you yeah. can see more of the interactions and relationships mm -hmm. between the protagonists and characters. I'm really yeah, curious yeah, to yeah, see yeah. if the GTA 6 trailer will be using the same pattern. Switching topics a bit, there's this interview with Rockstar from 10 years ago that, in hindsight, didn't age quite as expected. In an oh interview as reported by Digital Trends, Leslie Benzies, then president of Rockstar North, talked about the possibility of Vice City returning in a future GTA game. Benzies mentioned, It is always a possibility. Ability. There are a few references to the city in our current gen GTAs, so it is part of that HD universe, and it is certainly somewhere we would love to revisit. However, Vi I just want to see Liberty City uh, again. I, I know GTA 4 was still in the HD universe, but I want to see like modern day graphics. I feel like that New York City is uh, going to be amazing with current day technology. And surely we're talking about GTA, and GTA 6 is going to have Y City, and for years, potentially decades, we're not going to get another GTA game, right? We're potentially gonna get GTA 7. <laughs> yeah, I know we were talking about it already, guys. I, I know, I know. But we're probably gonna get GTA 7, like, what? If we get, like, uh, GTA 6 in 2024-20. Okay, realistically, 2025, let's just say. We're probably not gonna get GTA 7 until 2040, bruh! And uh, 2040, around that time, we're easily gonna have PlayStation 7 or PlayStation 8. And Xbox Series X, 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 10 or something like that. Bruh. And I want to see Liberty City uh, on that on that console on the on that engine or on the on that hardware if that makes sense. But part of me also want to see like Dubai. I want to see well, what are, what are your favorite cities? What are your cities that you want to see be in GTA or countries? I want to see Dubai. I want to see Tokyo. Um, I want to see like outside of the U.S. too sometimes. Vice City, perhaps more than any other GTA game, was as much about the era as the setting. Miami in the 1980s is so iconic it would feel strange to revisit the city in a different time period. Looking back at this statement now, it's somewhat ironic, considering the confirmed leak from September 2022, showing that GTA 6 will take place in a modern time Vice City. This yeah. shift in setting could suggest a change in creative direction after Benzie's departure from Rockstar. Speaking of Benzie's departure, he left Rockstar in 2016 and was involved in a legal dispute with its parent company, Take Two interactive over unpaid royalties this lawsuit yeah. stretched from april 20 yeah take two come on take two come on man can a brother get a penny bruh can a brother get a penny like brothers be asking you a penny though like brothers be asking you a penny though like man y'all suckers be making more money than god you're standing there with thumbs up your asses making more money than god Okay, why not give brother a penny? A brother deserve a penny, especially like when your brother deserve a penny though. 16 to February 2019. His departure marked the end of an era for Rockstar, as Benzies had been a lead developer on the Grand Theft Auto series from GTA 3 to GTA 5, including GTA Online. The situation highlights how the gaming industry, especially within large and influential companies like Rockstar, is subject to change over time. The first GTA 6 trailers probably won't reveal this info, but according to notable Rockstar Games data miner, the studio plans to release new ongoing content for the game. One of the GTA forums users asked, "Is Single player DLC really that unlikely? I thought reduced base game scope and expansions was one of their anti crunch measures. Tez2 replied, I, I truly hope that we get like more DLCs for GTA 6. I mean, it's such a missed opportunity, man. Those twats were supposed to have that Franklin DLC for the single player, but instead they had it for <laughs> online because they knew they can actually, you know, <laughs> grab onto your wallets, give me your wallets, give me your wallets. And they, they actually had all them kids reaching for their mommy and daddy's credit card and yeah i want a mommy mommy i want to buy a megalodon i want to buy a shark card i want to buy a shark card and they definitely wanted more shark card sale and there's also news going around that they're looking to make a renting feature we talked about it in the last video i will link you in just a little bit right because uh yay suckers are talking about renting gta for five dollars per hour Bruh. man uh, and take two Deadass have introduced the idea. It doesn't mean that they're Deadass gonna do it. I don't think they're gonna do it. I think the game is still gonna be $70, but they said that $70 is not enough. We need to apply a renting feature. They did say that. Imagine $5 per hour, bro. Like, that suck is gonna be crazy, though. 
Yeah, we're talking about man. Come on, Rockstar. Come on, Take Two, bro. Like, it's not really when you factor in that a single-player DLC was considered for every title since GTA 4. Except GTA 5 and RDR 2 were never followed through due to the focus on online and work already starting on the next title. I don't see why Rockstar wouldn't repeat the same pattern with GTA 6 and then decide whether to cut or follow through. But this time they may do the latter, and it's more of episodic content, aka expansions, than a singular single-player DLC. They can do them yearly or bi-yearly, which would help I, I would love bi -yearly. reduce crunch. I'm really excited about the possibility of single-player DLC. Same, I'm really excited too, but this is that video, ladies and gentlemen. Click on this video on the screen. Check it out. We had the map leak, the entire map leak as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, link you that. Also link you that other video in the pinned comment as well. But you want to see the full maps walkthrough, click on this video on the screen. And in the pinned comment, I will link you the other video where they are thinking about making that renting feature for GTA 6. Check those videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.